Every day in Pennsylvania alone, 13 people die of a drug overdose. Now a local church is doing something to help those struggling with the effects of addiction. Ralph Iannotti has more. Whether you live in a big city or a small town like here in Connellsville, the heroin opioid epidemic has taken a staggering toll despite all the dire warnings we hear. But the church must be part of the solution. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Over 100 people turned out Tuesday night in the social hall of the Connellsville Church of the Immaculate Conception Parish. Open the heart of every person struggling with addiction to your healing power. This was the first of seven sessions in a series of drug education and prayer services being held throughout the four county Catholic Diocese of Greensburg. We're worried about the things that, like opioids, for example, that will kill you. Again, it's a culture of life issue. People are dying from this. The numbers are sobering. In Pennsylvania last year, there were more than 4,600 fatal drug overdoses. That compares to just under 1,200 highway deaths statewide and 671 homicides in 2015. The Drug Enforcement Administration estimates 13 people in Pennsylvania die of overdoses each and every day. But every pastor uh, of a parish knows the stories behind the statistics. Every pastor knows the people they buried and uh, the loved ones of those people. Mary Sempe is the evangelization director of the Connellsville Catholic Community. Last December, her sister, Angela Phillips of Uniontown, died of a heroin overdose at the age of 34. She had children. Uh, she was a loving person. She was an incredible seamstress. She was incredibly talented and I really want people to know that that it truly could happen to anyone. Sempe told me she is continuing to grieve over her sister's death but she's channeling that grief at meetings like this one and in speaking at many schools around the diocese trying to help others faced with a family drug crisis and to know they're not alone. It started about Angela to me and it became about a bigger purpose. It became about helping other people and to give a voice to those families that don't have one. A study conducted by St. Vincent College found that 95% of heroin users had previously used marijuana. And the same study reported 8 out of 10 heroin users had at one time abused prescription drugs. In Fayette County, I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.